Well, stress impacts everyone differently, your thoughts, feelings, and behavior. But how does it affect your brain? And here to help explain that is Dr. Tracy Alloway, professor of psychology at the University of North Florida and author of eight books. Welcome back. Thank you so much for having me. All right, so we're talking about stress and how it can affect us, but there's so many layers here because it's not just, you know, I'm stress-free, but the partner or person you're with, if yes. they're stressful, it can bleed over. And I think that's what's so fascinating. This study just came out a month ago, and they actually looked at pairs, and they found that there were changes in the brain's network, the neural network, not as a result of your own stress, but simply because you're reflecting the stress of your partner. It's just something that's not been identified before. Yeah, we don't want that, though. We don't want that <laughs> contagious stress. So no. <laughs> how can you alleviate it? Well, three simple ways. The first thing that they found in the same study was that social interaction actually reversed the pattern, the brain network patterns, back to how it was originally. So it was fantastic, just a you know, simple interaction someone you enjoy can actually set you back to what you, what you were before, but only for females. <laughs> only, only, only for no. females. That's what? right, that's what the study found. What? <laughs> but don't so worry, we have two more tips for the males. Okay, yeah. we have two more tips, yeah. Because we, we're, we're but, talking about secondhand stress. That's right. Is, is what, <laughs> you need to stop secondhand stress. It, it's a thing. <laughs> so I think there's something that can help you, though. I yes. think chocolate yeah. I hear helps. <laughs> that's yeah. right. True. Oh, this, yes. so what, what, this, you're talking about like raw cocoa, right? Well, 70% or higher, so 70%. minimum of okay. 70%, which still tastes great. You don't have to go 90%. So a bag of M&M's, people. No, no. It doesn't count. I feel like that helps. No. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> no, not even the blue ones um, to make you feel good. No, but and, and I think this is what's great because we know that dark chocolate has something called flavonoids, which is great for memory. But now in a recent mm -hmm. study, we find that it also improves your stress immune response. So we can also um, reduce our our kind of brain's response to stress by having dark chocolate. And in some cases, this study found that this response persisted even up to two hours. So you could feel less stressed for up to two hours after eating dark chocolate. Not M&Ms. I and think don't, that's true. Then, then, I don't think, just I think keep she's eating right. it, though. There's some, other health, there's some other health issues that <laughs> yeah. can come in. If, yeah, don't overdo it. That's right, balance. Yeah. Yeah. Temporary yeah. relief. <laughs> um, this one was interesting to me because I'm a person, as you know, we talk about time. My watch says now, and yeah. I stay present. And so stress from the past or things that happen, I don't relive them. I don't yeah. go back to it. You're saying that writing it out, a, a stressful situation or something from the past, writing that out and actually hand, you know, not compartmentalizing it. That's yeah, and I think that's what's fascinating for me too because like you, Curtis, I like being present in the moment. But when I read this study, I was just blown away because it was indicating that in order to be more responsive and less stressed about a new challenge, they found that actually writing and critically appraising failures from a previous challenging situation, so maybe you had a job interview, you didn't feel it went that well, instead of just trying to say, I'm going to put it out of my mind, I'm not going to think about it and just focus on what's ahead, actually writing down and critically thinking what you could do to improve can reduce stress. You know what? I actually uh, take that back. I, I don't write it down, but I'm one of those people, and I think I get it from my dad. He does this too. After I've had a, a conversation that might have gotten, you know, mm -hmm. heated or whatever, I'm, I'm I don't know who else does this, but I go back over the conversation in my head and go, you know what? That's where I that's where I swerved, and that's yeah. where I should have said this and this, and I shouldn't have let myself get to to that. So I don't write it down, but. Mm -hmm. That's that actually does work. It actually does work. I think That's it's good. great. And I think, you know, the writing down is a very concrete step because you're actually using that motor activity as well. Yeah, exactly. So instead of you just thinking it out in your head, you're actually writing it and saying, this is how I'm going to change. All great stuff. Or you can go to your videos. You've got some videos. Yes, on too. Tone Networks. Yeah. Um, so if you're looking for Mother's Day gifts, lots of expert videos for women, for women. Um, so check them out. Very Perfect. Cool. All right. Well, for more information, head to Dr. Alloway's website, which is tracyalloway.com, or call 904-277-0027.